All right, hey, what's going on, guys? My name is Phil. I'm the host of the No Guts, No Galaxy podcast, bringing you some macro online. And in today, in particular, it's a pretty cool day. It is the preview stream for the Black Lantern, coming out tomorrow in the patch. Anyways, like I say again, what is going on? Hopefully, everyone's having a great day. And uh, yeah, I've actually got Mama Bear here in the background. Uh, some of you may have been hired to uh, search and destroy this weekend. Rumor has it that the masked bandit himself no, has a beard. No. <laughs> masked bandit. The bounty hunter. I was a yeah. bounty hunter this weekend. I was a... Uh... Were you role-playing? Yes, I was yeah. role-playing. I was in that outfit you bought me. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's cute. It looks good on you. <laughs> I'm just saying. Quite a few people uh, were hunting me, and, and some people got me. Yeah. Well, there you go. Like I say again, welcome to everyone out there. Hopefully you're having a great day. Uh, we are going to be going over the Black Lantern coming out again tomorrow. We'll preview uh, some of the loadouts on it. We'll preview some of the uh, colors on it. We'll, we'll look at the cockpit items. We'll uh, go over some decals and uh, yeah, check out some animations, stuff like that. Um, but if you have any questions about this particular chassis and or variants, now's the time to ask. And uh, yeah, uh, first off, um, Pretty excited, me personally, for this mech, just because it's another 55 ton. Because you're a dirty clanner. I uh, And I'm a dirty, <laughs> dirty clanner. And uh, the will of Kerensky. And, uh, you know. So, and all that, yeah. You know. But the good news is I'm, like, a good clanner, right? I'm, I'm, Today, t yeah, you're a good clanner. Right, yeah. There's good clanners, the there's bad clanners, right? Like, some might not we like that. We, we shall determine whether that's true or not. Yeah, yeah today is is an exciting day. It's the day before, um, obviously, patch day tomorrow. Uh, we, here we are previewing the Black Lantern. I get Prisity. to see the, Black, the Pr Black Panther tonight. A good movie, by the way. Yeah. Yeah, I saw it. I loved it. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Um, one thing to note, patch notes, pretty positive feedback. You can toss yeah. that out there. Also, changing of the guard. Um. Alex Garden no longer doing the notes, and Matt Newman and Tina, I believe, right? <laughs> yeah, well, it's, it's Matt, but yeah. Matt? Just Tina just put her name on it, takes all the credit. Is that what it is? <laughs> no, no, I don't actually, I don't know what uh, what extent Tina was a part of it, but I know that it's uh, under Matt's purview, but yeah, maybe she's uh, involved as well. But yeah, anyway, uh, Alex um, Garden is obviously uh, very heavily involved in MechWarrior 5 now. Well, kudos to him. Yep, and to us when that game comes out. What defines a good clanner and a bad clanner? Well, um, depends on your perspective. Some might say uh, obliterating an entire city of millions of people with orbital bombardment might put you on the naughty list. I don't know. But some people think it's a good list. Oh, I mean, yeah. So, you know, there's that. All right, guys, let's go ahead and dive in here. All right, so coming out tomorrow. For those that did the pre-order in particular, you do have two extra variants, and that's the D and the E, right? We're going to go over uh, the Omnipods, what's available out there. Uh, but some some notes out there, just so you guys know, Black Lantern 55 ton Omnimech, right? Does have mask equipped in the Prime variant, which basically locks that in for the rest of them. It is a two ton piece of equipment. Um, Keep in mind, for the mask, at least me personally, um, and share how you guys use yours, I actually use scroll wheel up. And what that allows me to do is uh, still use uh, the middle mouse button to fire, right? Push down. But when you scroll up, and then you can scroll up again to turn it off, or scroll up and scroll down to turn it off. Um, it's really useful. Um, so if you haven't used mask, definitely get into uh, your settings, your keyboard. And uh, in general, and I can go ahead and show you toggle mask. So you do, do toggle up, you can see here. And then you'd hit yes and go in there and test. So test out what's best for you. Some people like having just a push button, um, but I like the ability to up and down with my mouse. So I do have this on, this is a different server, that's why it's not on there. Also, there's a difference here of uh, toggle mask and mask just being on. So make sure to check that out. Again, I like it to uh, toggle with mouse up. Um, so, you, so you heard it here, Phil likes to toggle. 
Uh, McCation has a question. If a planner is a planner and they bring a, the right banner, can they pli pilot a Black Lantern? I don't know about that, but we are going to give away a Black Lantern right now in chat. Hashtag Black Lantern for your chance to win a Black Lantern standard pack. And good question, McCation. Yeah. All right. So the nice thing is we we do have comparables to this, and that's the Stormcrow. Um, both bird leg walkers, obviously. Uh, this one's a little bit different. Um, the Stormcrow topping out, you know, 104 some odd KPH. This one tops out at 121 with speed tweak. All right, larger engine as well. Does eat up tonnage. So the overall tonnage pod space available is less than the Stormcrow. But what you're also getting is higher speed with mask as well. Uh, we also have ECM capabilities with the head prime torso omnipod which is pretty awesome we also have a head omni slot as well that's mounted pretty high that can be used um and of course um that is part of the d here let me uh, verify now it's the one of these has a just looking at it oh it's the hero there we go the hero omnipod has a uh energy And of course the A as well has a ECM slot. So yeah, you've got ninja capabilities. Um, one of the setups that I saw that I would probably uh, take right off the bat uh, was to run this. Now, you don't have to take uh, ECM, but if you are, uh, one of the things that I figured, and this is the first thing you'll wanna do is up armor. This thing is lacking when it comes to uh, full armor. All right, so I found that six ER mediums, you've got the C with the six uh, omnipods here, or hard points. I'm just gonna demonstrate what it looks like really quick in arm, so you guys can see. So that's where they're mounted. You can see they're not too low slung. Uh, it's above the waistline, so it'll be pretty uh, solid. Um, and when you compare it to the left torso and then the uh, right arm, you can see the line here. So just keep in mind, this is lower slung than the torso mounts. But one of the things that popped out to me when I saw this was the ability to do six ER mediums or uh, heavy mediums. But I think six ERs would be a bit better far as heat management and as you can see you then could one thing I did earlier was I took the uh, head omnipod and I actually moved the ER medium over so it was more of a dead side so you would lose ECM at that point, but I don't know if that would be necessarily a bad thing. Obviously having the stealth capability is nice. And again, this is in the uh, hero head slot right here. So that's what I did. Um, as you can see, what that allowed me to do would strip the right arm completely down and save, I think it's about a ton of armor. And that allows me to put another double heat sink in um, and bring again the heat efficiency down. So I could, you can do that with the um, ER medium setup. But you can't do that with a heavy setup. So even if we were to take um, the head Omni slot, just take this Omnipod really quick. Yes, and of course you do have the options to basically say, okay, well, I'm not gonna worry about ECM all, to, all around. I'm just gonna go straight up um, uh, energy so obviously seven eight nine uh energy hard points pretty solid and why is, why is six afraid of seven <laughs> what because seven eight nine never mind going oh my gosh you said it you said seven eight nine you said the punchline i had to that I, is that what it is yeah. yes Gregor? i have kids man yeah have you taught your kids those mm -hmm. my daughter loves that joke There we go. 
<laughs> All right, so um, yeah, you could definitely make this like a small uh like three heavies and some smalls or just do all the smalls we do have some changes coming in um on the small pulse as well uh in the patch notes a lot of uh little tidbits like that um so maybe just maybe a uh, small pulse might make a comeback i don't know um so again what you can do with the er mediums right is do an er medium build instead on this side and then you could drop the armor on this side and of course, this is what it looks like right here. Now, me personally, I like having ECM, especially in a um, solo play. I do think ECM adds a lot of utility, right? Ninja capability. So I would definitely uh, keep this. And what I would do is just suck it up and have that uh, arm either use this or drop the other ER medium right here. But what that does is again, makes this vulnerable. Now you can do heavies on this. The one thing you'll notice right off the bat, well, it takes up a lot of crits. So you can do five. Um, I run around with uh, a similar build already on the Ice Ferret. Um, but one thing to keep in mind, of course, is shooting more than four of these does trigger Ghost Heat, right? So difference here, you can see you'd only have four and a half tons of space. You could squeeze out a few extra in the probably legs, if not arm. Right to get uh, that half ton to drop one more heat sink, but you can see 1.22. So there's that as well, and checking out where the hardpoint locations are. Um, another strength of this is the combination of energy and missile. Reset this real quick. Um, the D actually comes with. Uh, left right torso missile omnipods there is a prime of course with the one missile but this one has one missile and one energy what that could lead to is someone actually taking um ecm um and a tag laser do atms something to that effect i one thing again i think the strength of the black liner will be light energy and light uh missile so again, you can do four missile hard points on this with this combination. Um, but one of them is the E left arm. So quick, thing new max of four, four launchers, but like a four SRM six, if you so desire. Of course we have this, this. Now, the first thing uh, Darren would ask is, is it stronger than the Storm Crow? I would have to say no as far How as did firepower. You know? um, this would not be uh, better than the Storm Crow in this setup. And this is why I was saying is I think it is going to require a combination of small uh, missile launchers and energy. Because the Storm Crow can do five SRM-6 with Artemis plus plenty of ammo. Um, it's not as concerned with the, of course, going really super fast with the mask and the larger engine. Um, here's what the missile hard points look like. Uh, De Hatchet asks, are the quirks a set of eight? There are actual quirk uh, set of eight. All that info has been released on the preview, so you can see what has what. Uh, this is a different uh, server mication. There's just a bug. That's all it is. Um, you do have ballistic card points, but I don't know if you're going to be doing a whole lot with those. Uh, machine guns, uh, we have uh, six machine gun capability on the omnipods of the hero here. Um, this is actually what it looks like. It looks cool. Um, but that's all you would really be doing. Again, with the tonnage uh, available when you max out armor, you just... I just don't, don't think that would be practical. You'd have like... To you act twos <laughs> yeah no one's gonna do that um and again when you look at it in the combination of uh storm crow versus this uh this would be better for machine gun plus uh some type of a uh, backup so uh six machine guns um a heavy large laser um and maybe some uh, srams or something to that effect 
something to open up the armor and then machine guns to finish it off. Uh, let's let's go ahead and give away this uh, standard pack real quick, if you don't mind. Yeah, yeah, do it. Hey, Brian, good to see you. Okay, here we go. Hashtag Black Lantern in chat right now, guys. You have 10 seconds. I'm going to give away a Black Lantern standard pack. This will be available tomorrow. Servers go down at 10 a.m. Pacific time, standard time. Not standard, the normal time, which is Pacific. And uh, hopefully it'll be a, a, a short patch. Be back up and we'll be running around in Black Lantern. So here we go. The winner of the Black Lantern standard pack is... Natural Born Griller. Congratulations. Are you out there? You got 60 seconds to claim your prize. We'll do another giveaway. There he is. All right, continue, Phil. All right, so as you can see, tube count. Solid. Got all 20. Uh, if you take an LRM 20. Um, SRM 6, you guys have already seen it, but check that out again. It's nothing crazy. You saw where the arm uh, mounted uh, missiles were. Uh, energy on the right arm. But preview that really quick. Again, I'll uh, showcase what a uh, PPC looks like. Cool. So there's the look right there. And then, of course, we have the left torso as well, uh, which is high mounted. So I could see maybe someone saying, all right, well, I'm going to take an ERP, ECM, and a backup of energy on the left arm. Um, that's something that this is, this is going to be able to do as well. And of course, we do have the head Omnipod. So something like uh, ECM, and then the left arm with the six energy, doing something like this. You could even do uh, micro smalls at that set point in time, take six of them. Drop the armor off here, and then of course we'd have to up armor the rest of the mech as well. I don't think this will make a, a very good um, ATM. And again, um, I say this just because looking at comparisons, com you know, to the Storm Crow. That right there. Then you'd have a tonnage drop in here. And then half a ton for probably going back on the legs here. Something like that. Right. Yes, some of these do have set of eight quirks. Um, someone brought up the C. Uh, missile cooldown 15%, uh, range 10%, uh, tar uh, turn rate targeting, uh, and ER laser heat gen. And in this case, uh, it having the six mediums as it has as it does right now, um, that would give a bonus to as far as its set of eight, right? But you'd have to keep the hard points what it has now and ER laser, not heavies as well. So there's that. Some of these do have the uh, the black, uh, the A. Let's see, PPC velocity, range, uh, and of course, armor on the right torso, right arm. So it's protecting that PPC if you have it. If you take the peep elsewhere, not so much. Also, too, you can dead side that, which is nice, right? Um, the D missile cooldown. Hey, check uh, Skype real quick. Yep, yep. Right, if you could, you can tell, look at chat, what's happening right now. Hashtag collector for your chance to win a Black Lantern collector's pack. Uh, that's tomorrow, guys. The collector's pack it comes with, you'll see uh, shortly, Phil's going to preview the cockpit items. Um, one of the coolest cockpit items, in my opinion, uh, comes with that collector's pack. So good luck. Hashtag collector in chat. All right, I want to check out and just show you guys really quick the. Keep in mind, uh, up on Canyon Network, I don't have speed tweak on this, but you can check out the animation and so forth. Let's see. Right. Uh, let's take a look here.
And then, of course, with mask, which I don't have toggled. And this is actually uh, where I'd recommend you go in here and do this yourself. Right? 139.5. And that's, again, without speed tweak. Yeah, that's very fast. Yeah, very open cockpit. As we can see here, this is a default uh, field of view, right? Uh, me personally, I run at 90 or 85, so I'll show you what that looks like as well. Man, it is the day of the predatory birds. We're, we're sitting here looking at the Black Lantern uh, from Jade Falcon, of course, and I've got a freaking bald eagle sitting outside my office window. Is he staring at you? I, th I think he's trying to get uh, eyes on the, the, the preview. Yeah, is that what it is? Yeah. Yes, it can do dual peep uh, or dual large pulse. Uh, the problem you run into is that pretty much uses uh, almost all of your tonnage, but you can do a... Um, uh, dual peep left torso and then like left arm uh, so dead side um, another thing to keep in mind with the black liner um, is that you do have that head energy slot you don't have to take ECM um, me personally I'd probably be taking it for ECM and that really will make it stand out compared to the New target acquired. the storm crow I mean really that's what we're talking about as well right it versus the storm crow what does it do i love playing the storm crow uh i played it before it's cool right all hipster like um i love speed love maneuverability and firepower but ecm having that ecm does add a level of ninja that's quite nice right it's just a uh, fat shadow cat well it doesn't have jump jets shadow cat uh, in itself is its own thing right, i still love the double large pulse on the shadow cat doing the ninja cat things but as you can see here I like the animation it almost gives me especially when you slow it down like that you get a lot of uh Twisting almost looks like you know the king crab waddle. It does. Right? Speed it up. I dig. New target acquired. Alright, let's hop back in here. And again, um with mask, that's without speed tweak, 134 and a half kph. Well, someone just asked about the Warhorn. We can check out the cockpit. Indeed, we can. All right. So I have this set up on the hero. So we have a few things in here. And there's a few options for those that got this. But having the Falcon in here, just chilling. Of course, leave it to... A Jade Falcon have a Falcon in his cockpit. Like. So there's that. Yeah, yeah just, I don't I don't I don't know clan mentality, so I can't yeah. relate here. Yeah, it, it moves. It's just showing there's also a nest uh one that has the eggs, but I think this is cool. We had to show this. You're getting that Falcon right there with this collector's a pack that we're about to give away. So hashtag collector in chat right now. You will get that falcon if you win. And also, the cuckoo warhorn. Yeah, and the feathers. Falcon is not green, DOA. Is that what it is? It's a black lantern, not green lantern. Totally reminds me of like 
Disney animatronics or something like that. It's pretty cool. All right, let's give that away. Let's do it right now. For a Black Lantern collector's pack, the winner is... Firestoat. Congrats, Congrats sir. Firestoat, are you out there? 60 seconds, bud. <laughs> Vacation, Piranha, every other Warlord. I don't know about that, man. Vacation in his, in his big goals. So yeah, what does the Black Liner bring to the table comparatively to the Stormcrow? Uh, more speed, more maneuverability. Um, and that pretty much is, is it, and the stealth, stealth capability. All that being said, I think the uh, Stormcrow is still the better platform for like one heavy ballistic. I know um, I love running around the LB20 with, you know, micros, um, UAC20 and so forth. Um, it, the Stormcrow is a better SRM brawler, I think. Now, that being said, this can do four SRM sixes, but it can't do five. It can't do uh, Artemis uh, with those and have sustainable tonnage as well. So, in my opinion, one of the strongest things this has going for it is ECM and high maneuverability with a, with energy being your primary loadouts. Um, I can see the strength being taking uh, a PPC or one large heavy energy weapon with a supplement because of the left arm. Um, the hero bringing uh, ballistic uh, um, options for the arms. It's unique among uh, the rest as well. The head energy as well. Um, and of course, we've got the D and the E that'll be bringing the uh, extra Omnipods later on for those that uh, didn't purchase this. Now, the D in particular... Phil, I've got a, I mean, you're going to talk about the D, but I've got to cut in because yeah. uh, Firestoat never spoke up. It's been two minutes, Firestoat. I'm sorry. We're going to have to re-roll. The winner of the collector's pack is... Rip. Zulus. Are you out there, Zulus? Watching then any response. Yeah, that's happened before. Yeah, that a few times. Look at, look at, look at. And Firestoat literally responding. <sighs> you son of a. Sorry, guy. no, I feel, no. I feel like I'm putting Chad, down my foot. No. I feel like they work together on that. It's not my call. I just, you know. You know they seriously they, Firestoat. You know. Well, Zulus hasn't responded either. Well. <laughs> no, Fire. Right. You, you, he will hook you up, sir. <laughs> It, I'm going to take care of this uh, on my own. Phil, continue. You're, you're talking about the D. I was which, talking you know, about the D. Th that happens all the time. It does happen all the time on the show. <laughs> I mean, when you sign into this show, it does say this is yeah, an adult. Yeah, exactly. Um, all right. So what I was saying about the uh, the D uh, left torso here is it does have an energy and missile that the prime uh, missile does not have. Um, so there is that. So keep that in mind. So, yeah. I'll be playing this uh, tomorrow. That's pretty much what I'm going to be rolling around with. Um, like I said, I feel like uh, strength, 6 ER mediums. I can see doing um, 6 heavies. But that may just be too much. I think maybe what I'll do is do a, um, a 5 heavy setup just like the Ice Ferret to some extent. Um, but again, the Ice Fridge comparatively faster, more maneuverable. So this may just be a better skirmisher that uses the ECM for um, st stealthy ninja capability. Um, let's go ahead and take a quick look at a few things, and that is camo. Um, because this is a dirty Falcon mech, I feel it's only appropriate to plaster it in bright, obnoxious colors, because, you know, I mean, that would be the appropriate thing, right? Anyways, here is the, I'll just showcase really quick the, um, where the colors uh, affect the mech as far as without camo. Right there. Black liner ice fridge. It may be, I may, dude, I've been thoroughly enjoying the, the fridge, so I don't know, maybe. We'll see. Um, let's go check out uh, some color patterns. Here is the actual uh, Jade Falcon paint scheme on the liner. I thoroughly enjoy our fridge as well. My wife says a little bit too much. Yeah? Yeah. Always in there eating food. I mean, if you're into this sort of thing, guys, I mean, I'm not going to judge you if you're not. 
Um, another uh, fan fave, Buccaneer. Go ahead and take a look at that. I like the nautical theme so far of seeing it. Let's do, uh, do some red. And of course, you can check out more information about this side-by-side -side comparisons on the uh, the um, website. Matt and Darren have been uh, making sure that's the countdown right? to the Black Lantern. Yes, indeed. Uh, we also have uh, Sherman, which I feel like is only appropriate showcasing in. And before we uh, shut down the stream shortly we're gonna do one more giveaway you know what it is right we did a standard we did a collectors phil can you guess what the next one is um any clue can i buy a bow <laughs> you can uh, here we go including uh phil's vowel hashtag ultimate in chat right now for your chance to win the ultimate black lantern pack coming out tomorrow good freaking luck mech warriors all right, let's see how Vagabond looks. I think it looks good. It looks good so far. Yeah, it's good. Oh, man. I'll tell you what, man. Vagabond used to not be... I just wasn't into it, but, man, you throw on some camo colors onto it. Well, that's what it requires, right? It's the psychedelic colors that you're like, ugh. Oh, man. But camo looks pretty good, yeah. All right, any other requests out there? Um, we've got, uh, ooh, let's take a look at, uh, flames are always good. Let's go with the, a nice base gray. And then, uh, let's come in here with some. Put on the lantern color, somebody says. I like that it's a little bit squatter. It is a squatter. Um, I do like that. It's a little bit uh, lower down. I know in the concept I had it standing a little bit higher. Its knees weren't uh, as bent. I like that it's a little bit lower to the ground. Me personally, I dig the looks, aesthetics. Um, and it's different. It's very different than the Stormcrow. Very, uh, it's not symmetrical. Um, obviously, it's got uh, some symmetrical hard points with like the missile, but as far as energy, um, max of one energy in the right arm, max in the uh, left torso, one possibility in the head, and then six in arms. Do the flames make it go faster? No, but the red paint does. Um, here Scientifically is, proven. Here is the, the black liner colors. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't make that. Oh, that's. Would be a good combo here. So yeah, this is the black liner colors. Nice little sword button right there. It's right there. Venice. Um. All right, and one other thing before we skedaddle and give this stuff away. Um, mm -hmm. I want to uh, showcase uh, the decals. I figure this has been, you know, again, throwing a feather out there. Yeah, I get it. Yeah, the decals are actually pretty freaking cool. Yeah, they are. Speaking of decals, the same, I, I, I had the same feeling when I was looking at the uh, Solaris pack. Yeah. Some pretty cool decals in there. Whoever is working on the decals. I know Matt does some of the decals, but I know other people do them as well. Um, yeah. Speaking of... 100% doing a great job. A lot of people torn on to support that or the Blood Asp. I've seen some... Yeah. Right there. So... I'm not a Falcon... I shoot them, you know, in the game. But I think people will like this uh, 
this decal. I'm gonna I'm gonna toss that out there. Any uh, Falcons out there? Do you guys like it? Yeah, so it was confirmed. Matt Newman is doing the decals, and uh, so Matt, kudos to you, man. Yeah, I've been hearing a lot of people uh, enjoying the decals lately. But of co course, th then you also have all the people that are requesting, right? Do these decals next, Matt? Yeah, where's our these cicada? Next. <laughs> yeah, what about that? The horde. To take your windshields. Uh, I think I've done a few fun ones with like the Cyclops and so forth. All right. So yeah, I'm excited. I'll be dropping with this uh, all day uh, tomorrow. Uh, checking out what works best again. Um, the my top picks for it are going to be the 6ER medium, uh, the heavy mediums with uh, ECM. Um, again, utilizing the head Omnipod that from the uh, Hero, um, you don't have to take the ECM. You can take that extra of uh, energy, and of course, it's nice mounted high. Um, but you lack on jump jet or you lack on ECM. I do think that's what will set the difference between this and the Storm Crow. And ultimately uh, making it a little bit different. Again, higher speed, uh, less tonnage payload to work with. Um, I still think uh, laser and combination of laser and missile. Um, I can see uh, SRM4s. Um, I don't know if uh, you'll see ATMs, but I'm sure someone will try. Um, but I think the Storm Crow would be a better case for heavier weapon systems when it comes to that. I think this will be uh, better for... Um, uh, the micro smalls, micro pulse, plus maybe some missiles. And of course, if you do have the uh, the D again, you do have that energy um, in the torso, uh, plus the six possibly in the arm, um, and of course the right torso energy as well. I think the machine guns will do solid. Uh, we were talking about that earlier. I think this is a good combination. It's different enough. Um, I think you just have to add stuff. Uh, I would probably take off the streaks here. I don't think the setup is too far off from what I would actually run on this. Um, do the math. One, you need to uh, up armor this. That's one thing you'll see on all the variants is that it just needs that little bit of extra tweaking. Don't mind the back armor. Um, and then, of course, the head Omnipod deciding if you want that uh, ECM or if you want the energy. Um, but that being said, I would probably take uh, SRMs, if anything, on this. Possibly fours. Want to take the streaks. You could take streaks, um, but they're going to weigh more. And then, of course, the heavy. You could even drop the um, SRMs, do a heavy large. Uh, with some backup and then like one uh, something like that you can do a 2 ER large as well uh, you'd have to find the tonnage somewhere but there's a few different combinations and even just having the three um, ballistics wouldn't be horrible so yeah you definitely have to uh, play around with it see what works best for you all right Darren you want to give away this uh yeah, let's do t let's do the giveaway, but let's do it while drop into uh, some uh, some map and give us a nice pose, you know, a nice hero shot yeah. of the uh, Black Lantern, and then I'll do the giveaway to be, for you, the ultimate. You want me to be your hero? Is that what you're saying? We don't need another hero. This is the hero you get. It's not the hero <laughs> you deserve. <laughs> Something like that. All right, one second. Maybe. Anyway, guys, this is uh, this is coming out tomorrow with the patch. Tomorrow is patch date. Man, patch date, a patch yeah, date, a patch date. I know. It always I was, feels like I, a week. I was like, hold on, tomorrow is the patch? I know. <laughs> Time flies so friggin' fast. But uh, yeah, so there's the patch notes are up at mwomerks.com, as well as a roadmap for, let's see, what is it? It'll be March, April, May, right? It's a roadmap. Um, and then the Solaris 7 pack was announced on Friday night as well. Uh, that's basically seven hero mechs plus some other stuff for $30. That's available on the website as well at mwomerks.com. Um, 
Phil and Chris and myself will be up at the office, not this week, but next week. Um, I believe we're going to be doing some kind of um, uh, production update with Russ from the office. Not 100% confirmed, but uh, that's the last I heard. So we'll let you guys know, um, get some news from Russ about what's coming up, and maybe you can go into more detail about the roadmap and, and so forth. And, uh, yeah, I um, think... Um, Bobby, Bob, Bobby's Bob. looking at me. Yeah, are you going to take him out? Are you, you're talking about the bird. Yeah. You're naming your bird Bob? His name's Bobby. Bobby? Because yeah. his head bobs or what? No, I mean, he told me. I, I didn't name him. Uh, okay. You hear birds talking to you in your head. That's fine. I mean... <laughs> All right, guys. Let's do this. As uh, Phil talks with Bobby, we're going to give away Black Lantern <laughs> Ultimate Pack. That's everything that comes in the Black Lantern Pack. Whoever wins this is going to have some fun tomorrow. So here we go. Hashtag ultimate. The winner is... Bam! Nordwing. Oh, congrats, man. Nordwing. 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 You're out there. Let me know if you're there. 60 seconds to claim your prize, sir. And, of course, guys, as per usual, I will be uh, letting some of our regular streamers give away some um, some of these Black Lantern packs over the coming week. So be sure to visit our regular streamers for said giveaways. So there'll be more Black Lanterns to be had, as well as Phil and I will be streaming this week As uh, in addition Listen, to that. I'll, I'll be probably streaming a little bit more today as the Bounty Hunter. So if you guys want to come out and try and find me, hunt me, kill me. Get a dev, cal, dev kill medallion, and then this if you headshot me, you also win the uh, Bounty Hunter 2 Marauder Hero Mech that I'll be cruising around in. Guys, he stands stills a lot, you know. So just I, I don't. I'm just. But you know what's? I'm just you know tossing what is, that out there. I have, I have bodyguards. Like yeah. people are, are actually dropping. Well, actually, what happens is if they don't get on the other side to kill me, they just decide to be my no, bodyguard. No one can have it, but really me well. sort of thing. You know, if I can't kill it's them. It's been working out well, yeah. man. Like, I barely die. Yeah. It's been nice. All right. Uh, there's Nordwing. We got it all sorted. We are done. So, Nord, I'm going to uh, whisper you. Let's take care of this. Uh, everybody that won tonight, congratulations and enjoy tomorrow. And we will see you all tomorrow for patch day. Like I said, guys, uh, just a quick wrap up. Really looking forward to this. Me personally, being a medium uh, pilot, uh, majority of the time, something with the ECM, it always piques my interest. I think the strengths of this will be the combination of energy, possibly energy and ballistic, uh, and of course, small uh, um, SRM carriers um, in conjunction with the small energy. Uh, 139 and a half kph without speed tweak, so you're pushing 140, possibly 150 with speed tweak. That's quite fast, uh, so so for me at least, very, very nice. Um, I think repositioning is going to be uh, good. I can see this doing really well with like an, a little pack uh, as well, a partner in crime. Um, definitely something to uh, check out. So anyways, I'll be uh, running this all day tomorrow. So if you want a better view of what the capabilities are uh, on this thing, uh, if you don't own it, um, I will be uh, running around it tomorrow. So... Hopefully that'll uh, be enough mech porn for you. That's right, Bear Claw. All right, guys, that's going to be it for the Black Lantern uh, preview stream. I will make sure to get this up on YouTube for all of you YouTubers out there. I uh, just want to say thank you again for coming out here. As we wrap up, I want to give some shout outs. We had uh, a few, oops, we had a few uh, resubs. Uh, Holorkor, I think I pronounced that right. Uh, thank you for the resub five months. We had Clyde with a brand new sub via Twitch Prime. Welcome, sir. Uh, MWO not dropping some bits. Mication dropping some bits. Uh, is it uh, Stanubis? Is that it? 13 minutes ago, dropped a Prime sub. Thank you, sir. RQS Divine, thank you for dropping some bits. Um, and of course, thank you for all the follows. Uh, let's see, we had Nyrex with seven month resub as well. MWO Nut with a just straight up, just regular sub. Thank you, sir. Um, Tingle Tingle Flow with a nine month resub. Welcome back, sir. Do appreciate your continued support of this channel. Much appreciated. And of course, the Commissar just drops a four year, almost four year, 41 month resub 
Guys, if we can show him some love in the chat, that is a long, long time. Thank you, sir. Thanks for that dedication. I just want to say thank you again uh, for showing up, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed the quick preview stream. And again, I will be playing this all day tomorrow. I'm, I've been looking forward to it. I know some of my unit mates have as well. But uh, just want to say again, uh, welcome to everyone. If you are new, you enjoying yourself, make sure to click that follow so you get email notifications. Also, don't forget to join us on our Discord server uh, where I post up as well when we go live. So you have two uh, dedicated areas uh, to know when we go live. Um, but just want to say, uh, yeah, much appreciated. We'll see you guys tomorrow. And of course, uh, I'm sure we will raid someone in just a second. So stay tuned. See you tomorrow. Until next time, MechWars. Peace.